One of the great tragedies about climate is that it's the poorest in the world, the farmers who live fairly near to the equator, that all this heat and flooding and droughts, they're going to suffer by far the most. If you're just trying to get people to cut back, don't eat meat, don't drive to work, uh, don't take trips. It's such a dramatic set of sacrifices that everybody has to engage in. This just in. Save the planet. Global warming is going to destroy the planet and your family and you. You must eat impossible meat. You better eat fake meat. It's the only way to save the planet. Buy Bill Gate impossible meat now or you will die. Doobie, give me that mic. What are you talking about? Well, um, you know, Bill Gates has all the farmland. Uh, he's got 242,000 acres. Um, he's got 52,000 more than the Offit family. And um, he's even got more now because this uh, graphic is like a year old. He's got like 300,000 acres. Uh, what do you think he's going to do with all that acreage? He's got the number one acreage in uh, America. I don't know. What, do you, what is he going to do? Well, he's making plant-based meat. He's making impossible meat. And they're, they're going to use... Global warming is the cover, the marketing. What do you mean they're going to use global warming as the marketing? That makes absolutely no sense. Well, we made COVID. All right, Doobie. We, we talked about this conspiracy theory stuff, and uh, it's not really YouTube friendly. You know, YouTube's owned by Google, and uh, it's, it's big tech, dude. You can't say the virus was man-made. It's just, it's, it's not proven yet. Okay, well, it was. It was in a lab. Um... It didn't come from the bat cave or the meat market. Well, you know how they made COVID, and uh, they made it's like you make a problem and then you create the solution for it, and you make money, and you work with the government. The government says you got to take a vaccine, and you're making the vaccines, and you also made the virus. So it's like you're making a virus, you make the vaccine, you cash in, baby, and then the people in the government also get something out of it because they get in power because of the mail-in ballots. Everybody wins. So you're saying, how is COVID like global warming? Well, they're going to use global warming as the next COVID. That, that makes absolutely no sense. Well, they're going to say you got to eat impossible meat to save the planet. You got to, you got to, the global warming is going to get us all. So you got to eat impossible meat. You can't drive a car. You got to stay in your house. You got to have uh, solar panels and you got to breathe in fresh air. I don't know what the hell they're going to do, but they're going to make you eat fake meat, and they're going to make you walk. They're going to make you walk to work. Well, you just heard Bill Gates talking about it. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to get upset here. So, okay, let me get this straight. <laughs> Excuse me. What are you doing, smoking again? Uh, yeah, I, I probably need some clean air myself. So, you're all upset that Bill Gates has all this farmland. Well, okay, you remember Microsoft? And you get a virus, what did you have to do? Well, you had to get, like, an antivirus program. Right. How much did that run you? I don't know. It was, like, 1995. Exactly. Okay. So, Bill Gates makes a virus with uh, Fauci and the Wuhan lab. And uh, what did that cost you? Um, well, I don't know. I mean, it didn't cost me anything. How do you know? It was funded by Gainer Research. That's your tax money, dude. So, they make a virus... And now, it's unleashed in an election year. Well, the government works with the people that unleash the virus to get in the power. And the virus has to do what? What do you got to do when you get the virus? Well, they want you to get vaccinated. How much does that cost, right? I don't know. Well, how much does it cost? Tell me. I don't know. I think it's like, it's free, they say. Oh, free my ass. It's from tax money, so... All the big pharmas are making big money off the vaccine and the pills for the virus that they made. They're, it's a it's a money making scam, dude. Next thing, you better eat the impossible meat or the planet's gonna die. You better eat the fake meat and you better not drive your car or the planet's gonna die. You're you're a planet killer. You're a planet killer if you eat a burger. Do you think that's what's gonna happen? You think that's what's gonna go down? Well, yeah. All right, well, that's your opinion. This is F the News, and uh, Doobie seems to think that Bill Gates is planning 
is planning to unleash impossible meat on the planet to save the planet. And he will make a mint in the process because everybody will want to buy his fake meat. Is that what you're saying? Well, he's got like 300 acres, dude. Are you all right? You sound like a little funky today. Yeah, dude. One of those days, dude. Um, you know, when you look at what's going on in the world, you can't help but, like, feel a little funky, dude. Huh. Yeah, man, I gotta, I gotta get word out there. Um, you know how there's a big fight between the vaccinated and the unvaccinated? Well, guess what the next one's gonna be? The meat eaters and the impossible meat eaters, which is fake meat. So it's gonna be the vegans versus the carnivores. That's the next war, dude. They're going to make you feel guilty for eating a burger. Because you're going to be killing the planet, man. It's not cool, dude. It's just not even right, man. I don't even get it anymore, dude. Bill Gates is not doing this world any favors. He'll act like he is. But it's a scam, dude. He's a businessman. He's a businessman. All right, that's a black scent. I told you you can't talk in a black scent. Aquafina got busted for rapping in a black scent. Well, I'm just saying, yo... Okay, uh, this is F the News. My name is Sterling Silverberry. And Doobie had some opinions on Bill Gates. Uh, those are his opinions. They are not the, uh, they do not uh, officially represent the opinions of F the News or myself. I see where he's coming from. Um, if you think uh, COVID was man-made, that is uh, your opinion. Um, if you think it was unleashed for not only to make money and to supplant power, that is probably commonsensical thing to think about when you look at the world at large um well that's what happened you know uh, they want mandates they want you to stay in your place and pretty soon global warming here we go and you're gonna have to buy impossible meat man the fake meats everywhere now dude you look fucking look around pay attention man you got fake chicken you got fake meat it's coming for you back to you sterling Okay, this is F the News. Uh, Biden warns Americans in Ukraine to leave. Says sending troops to evacuate would be world war. Huh. Well, that's not good. Well, um, that's a real threat. Biden is president. That's no global warming hoax bullshit shit. That's like going to start a war because what the fuck, dude? Back to you, Sterling. Uh... Yeah, back to me, whatever. Biden Biden warns Americans in the Ukraine to leave. <sighs> Says sending troops to evacuate would be world war. Well, why don't you click on it? You're like a millennial who'll just read the headlines and get all his information from it. All right, your, your voice is getting a little annoying here. President Joe Biden issued a warning Thursday to any Americans who remain in the Ukraine as Russia continues to threaten an invasion. American citizens should leave now. It's not like we're dealing with a terrorist organization. We're dealing with one of the largest armies in the world. It's a very different situation, and things could go crazy quickly, he said. Well, um, there you go. He's going to invade Russia. It's World War III. Uh, he don't want to get blamed for killing Americans and starting a war. So he's going to start a war and uh, just fuck it, kill the world. It's like these people got skeletons in their closet. They'd rather kill each other and the whole planet than get exposed for these heinous crimes. What heinous crimes are you talking about now besides making a virus and killing off the old people? Well, Bill, Ger Bill Gates is a eugenics guy. He wants to thin the herd. He made a virus. He thinned some herds. And now he's got a vaccine that's the cure. I mean, come on, man. It's obvious money-making scam, dude. And now he wants you to buy his fake meat to save the planet. This dude's a marketing genius, man. I don't know if he's a genius. He's a marketing genius, but I, I do hear what you're saying. His uh, parents were part of Planned Parenthood. Yeah, what's that tell you? He thinks there's too many people in the world, so keep eating that fake meat. See what happens. Um, this is F the News. Uh, my name is Sterling Silverberry. Um, yeah, Biden wants to be a legitimate president. Well, did you hear Obama's uh, had a secret meeting today? With all the Democrats, and he said, "You better buck up." And there's, they got some, uh, they got some tricks up their sleeve. And I think this war is one of them. I think China's going to come into play, and I think uh, Trump's. They're going to go after Trump extra hard. Pardon the expression. Uh, Joe Biden's a perv. Back to you, Sterling. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're probably going to go after Trump. I, if I was Trump and the Secret Service, I would definitely step up. Uh, 
Democrats are not playing uh, fair, but in a lot of Republicans as well. Uh, there's an establishment that does not want Trump anywhere close to Washington D.C. and uh, the corruption reigns. And uh, here we are. Yep, corruption reigns. Uh, we got a rigged election, mail-in ballots, a vaccine, impossible meat versus meat eaters, global warming to save the planet. You better eat a uh, soy burger, and uh, you can't drive anywhere because uh, the fossil fuels and by the time uh, Impossible meets in every uh, store and then on every table, I uh, guess will probably be 20 bucks a gallon. I don't know. Uh, that, that's crazy. Uh, you're getting way ahead of us here. Well, you got to look around, dude. Uh, they got KFC uh, serving fake chicken. Impossible chicken, dude. What the hell is a fake chicken? Back to you, Sterling. Yeah, the world's gone sideways, and it's all about money, right? If, if you have enough money, you could probably convince anybody of anything. If you have all the right news uh, platforms speaking your song, right? Singing your song, singing your praises, pushing your word onto the people. The people are generally sheep, right, Doobie? Oh, yeah, they'll believe anything they hear on TV. That's the problem with the world. Back to you, Sterling. Okay, this is F the News, and uh, I hope this isn't World War III. Um, it's not good. Uh, you know... People aren't paying attention here. Uh, they'll call Biden an uh, illegitimate president. He's senile. But he's got his finger on the uh, the buttons, man. Uh, he could start a war real quick. And that's that's scary for anybody. Uh, anyways, uh, anything else you want to add about Bill Gates and uh, all his impossible meat situation? Well, just watch out what they tell you to be afraid of and fearful. And you better do the right thing or the world's going to die. They're always pushing something on you. Like an impossible meat to save the planet. I call bullshit. This is F the News. And uh, sleep tight. And uh, let's uh, hope there's not a World War Three. F the News.